There are a lot of reasons on why a person might skip a character within Genshin Impact. Whether they don't like the character's art style, the gameplay, or even some of the voice lines. But that is not what we're talking about here. Right now, we're talking about why I am skipping Alhatham. And for good reason as well. Well, maybe not that good of a reason. But Alhatham seems to be the newest 5 star character that everyone is talking about. As he is going to be releasing very soon in Genshin Impact 3.4. And we've already seen the live stream update and some of the stuff that they might go through with within the 3.4 update. And it looks kind of okay. And there are a lot of banners that are going to be coming within this update and a lot of reruns. So we have a total of three reruns including Xiao, Hu Tao as well as Yelan. And all of these characters are pretty freaking good. All of them do come from Liyue which makes sense since we're going to have the Lantern Ride event and it also makes sense because Xiao, Lantern Ride kind of go hand in hand. And with that being said, why would you choose all these characters over Al Haytham? Or why would you choose Al Haytham over all of these characters? Now me personally, these banners are okay. You know, there Yao Yao is in the event wish banners for both Al Haytham as well as Xiao. But there are two other four stars that we don't know about, obviously. But we can try to see how this makes it a little bit difficult. However, Genshin has made it very clear that within the event wishes, not event wishes, sorry, but the events in general, we are going to have the ability to invite one of these four star characters, which I think are all from Liyue, to your actual account. And Yao Yao is one of those characters. So you can get a free Yao Yao. You don't have to summon on these banners, neither on Xiao or Al Haytham. Now for the actual weapon banner, I'm assuming Al Haytham is going to have his weapon as well as Xiao is going to have his weapon, which is the primary real Jade Wing Spear. And let me just tell you, I don't think it's kind of worth it to summon on either of these weapons so that's already a minus one for El Haytham. In terms of who I want to summon for it's obviously Yelan. It is so obviously Yelan. Yelan ha has evaded me. I wanted to summon on Yelan last year but I just because I wanted to summon another another character. I'm not sure who it was whether I was saving up for the Archon or not but I summoned on a different character and now we are here. <laughs> Alhatham is going to be pretty upset after realizing that I'm not gonna be summoning on him. He's gonna be so mad. He's going to, I don't know, kick me out of the academia. I don't know what he's gonna do, but he's definitely not going to be happy. Two out of the four characters that are going to be, you know, being introduced once again uh, in these event Twitch banners, I have Xiao as well as Hu Tao, but I don't have Yilan on either of my accounts. And I am very excited to finally be able to get her. And not only is she really powerful, but I just really want her E skill to traverse around the entire world. Imagine having both Yelan as well as the Wanderer on the same team. I could just fly. Other than that, uh, I like them. Looks like a fun character, but genuinely just looks like another Kuching, as everyone is, you know, mentioning or comparing even. Uh, I don't think exactly it's a Kuching, but Dendro. Uh, the, it's just a really unfortunate thing that they didn't take their time into making Alhatham a much more fun character in the sense that they're more diverse. However, they do look fun, or he looks fun rather, Alhatham. He has this cool ult ability, he has the double sword skill while using normal attack, but I don't think it's going to be that great. But what I am predicting is Alhatham is going to be very powerful. Whether you use Aggravate, Burgeon, or whatever else you're going to use on Alhatham, I feel like a Dendro DPS is really strong. Not to mention, we've already seen the likes of uh, Tenari being really powerful as well. So I do think Alhatham is going to be pretty powerful, and I think he will be pretty fun to use as well. But I don't think he is going to be for me. Not to mention, I have like zero gems to summon on him anyway. If I had an infinite well of gems, I would summon on El Haytham for sure. But I do not, and I am going to be saving for Yelan. And I'm assuming after Yelan's banner, we're going to get dropped, boom, another massive character. So we're going to have to wait while 3.4 is just about to be released. We're going to get drip marketed once again, and it's going to show Dia. I 100% think it's going to be Dia. If it's not Dia, it's going to be maybe Baiju. It's going to be pretty fun. Hopefully, hopefully I'll have enough for both Yelan as well as, which is maybe Dia. I hope it is. Uh, Cause I really want Dia, come on. I already have Yula. I have uh, Ito. Claymore characters are fun. They're fun to use. Yeah, sure. They're pretty heavy and stuff. But they're fun. 
and I really want to use um, Thea if she does come out. And I think that is all I wanted to mention. Of course, there are a lot of things that you guys want to do within this 3.4 update. There are a bunch of events. There are new character skins. So there's a lot of stuff within this new update, especially the Lantern Knight. A lot of people are going to be happy about that. So that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. It's a little bit of a short one, but I just wanted to come in here and talk to you guys. I am still working on the video I was telling you guys about on my community page. You guys should check out my community page. Uh, I don't post that regularly, but when I do, it's pretty interesting questions, at least to me, and it's a way for me to communicate with you guys almost directly. So if you guys have any inputs on what things you want to see, um, or anything that I just ask within the community page, let me know and I will see how well it goes and it will be pretty good things, fun times. But that is going to be it. Subscribe to the channel, like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for reaching the end of the video, guys. I am creating or I have made a brand new account. If you guys seen throughout this video, you guys might have seen some older footage. It's not older footage. It is actually <laughs> new footage of my brand new account. I'm going to be trying to make videos on this new account and seeing how this sort of content type works on my channel. I mentioned I'm making like new types of videos and stuff like that. And I hopefully want to make sort of progress videos within my new account and see how it sort of progresses. It is sort of inspired by Ampash and seeing how his account is going to progress. I sort of wanted to do that for myself and see how it goes. And the rules aren't exactly the same as his, but it's going to be a little bit different and hopefully um, fun as well anyway. So that is going to be uh, what I wanted to announce. It's a brand new account. Uh, I am going to try to sporadically uh, work on my accounts. I don't want to sort of spread myself too thin or lead to burnout or something like that. I'm going to take it nice and slow, but I'm going to also, you know, post videos on it. It's going to be a fun time and hopefully you guys stay tuned as well as enjoy them. And that is, uh, that is the announcement. So hopefully you guys uh, like it and I'll see you guys soon on the brand new account.